friends, today I'm going to review Birthday by Meredith Russo. I received the knock of this through Edelweiss in exchange for an honest review and this book is released on May 21st. Birthday is a YA contemporary about two teens, Morgan and Eric, and they were born on the same day in the same hospital and so we kind of follow them from their 13th birthday on in a dual perspective and we meet them once every year on their birthday. In this novel we really see all kinds of ups and downs of their relationship and how their relationship develops over the years but this novel also deals with Morgan realizing that she is transgender and how she kind of deals with it throughout the years and then eventually coming out to people. Right here right now I want to tell you that this book comes out next Tuesday and I want you to fucking pre-order it right now if you're just the littlest bit excited or intrigued by this novel because this is such a beautiful novel and I need people to read it and I need people to hype this book up because it's so wonderful and I really just want to hear all of your thoughts and all of your opinions and all of your love for this book. So honestly I don't like to like make generalizations and I don't think that everybody's gonna love this book quite honestly but I think it's just one of those books that I want basically everybody to read. Now while I thought this book was really really beautiful I also want to say that this is a really devastating and hard to read novel. I think that Meredith Russo had an amazing balance between the hard-hitting truths of life and especially of being a transgender teen or just in general a transgender person but at the same time having just a really beautiful story with a really hopeful ending that leaves you with a wonderful warm and fuzzy feeling but that doesn't take away from the fact that there are huge triggers and it's not just the triggers that you would kind of expect for like transphobia and stuff like that but there are also a lot of mental health triggers there is parental abuse going on I'm leaving my whole list of trigger warnings in the description down below there are so many if you have any triggers I would encourage you to check out this list so that you kind of know what you're getting yourself into but Again, I think that there is a great balance between all those triggers and all those devastating things and just having a really beautiful story. For me, at its core, this is a love story. This is the story of Morgan and Eric falling in love. And obviously Morgan being trans is a huge topic, but for me, this is really just the theme that sticks out throughout this whole novel. And it is my favorite part of the novel, honestly, because I loved that throughout the novel we already can see them falling in love even without them really realizing it, even with them trying to deny it or just not understanding it because you know it does deal a lot with the fact that like you know but I'm not gay and stuff like that but you can already tell these huge feelings they have for each other and it's so great when that ends up just falling into place. This is honestly one of my favorite relationships that I've read so far this year and will probably be one of my favorite relationships of all time because just the way the feelings for each other kind of develop, it's so well done, it's so beautifully written and also just the way that Eric is always there for Morgan long before Morgan realizes or really understands that she's trans. He is always so supportive even when his family has a really really gross attitude towards Morgan, he is always 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 supportive. He knows something is up so he like asks Morgan like are you gay and Morgan knows she's not gay, she knows it's it's something else although obviously that's something that she very much questions as well. When she doesn't really understand her gender yet she very much like thinks you know am I just am I just gay? Um, but like throughout all of these struggles Eric always supports and protects Morgan and I just love that so much. Their relationship is absolutely beautiful. Again, as I said, this obviously deals a lot with gender identity, with gender representation, but also with sexuality. Both of the characters kind of deal with that because Eric can really feel his attraction to Morgan before Morgan comes out to him or understands her gender herself. He's obviously questioning where are these feelings coming from and both of them very much just question that and I think that all of the questioning was so well done. It was all so 
thought like obviously you sometimes have like shitty thoughts as well but it was so realistic i definitely had some issues sometimes with the way this book talked about gender but at the same time i always understood where the characters were coming from like i just really want some things to not be so gendered but at the same time i also understand that as a transgender teen there's just certain things that would make you feel more feminine or just some things that would just make you feel different about the way you present and i think that's in general something that this novel does really well i think it is really easy to comprehend where the characters are coming from always and i think that also this is definitely a book where people who are not really involved in the queer community and who maybe not really know any trans people that they will understand Morgan really well and that they understand what Morgan is going through really well. I think it's so easy to just comprehend everything that she's going through and everything that she's thinking and I just I really love that. I think this is definitely an, a beautiful novel for trans teens and that is first and foremost who I hope kind of benefits from this novel, but I do think it is also a good book for people who are kind of really trying to understand trans people more. By the way, you don't have to understand people in order to just accept their identity. Just putting that out there. I also think that this had a really great depiction of depression. Morgan definitely deals a lot with mental health problems and they are very much coming from, you know, her issues with gender and just figuring everything out. But I think apart from where this is coming from, the way the depression in particular was depicted was wonderful. And honestly, one of my favorite depictions of depression in any fictional novel I have ever read. And I'm very particular with them, but I think this was so spot on. I also really love that there was this aspect of being scared to come out to people not because you think they are not going to support you like there's often people in your life where you know they're going to support you you know they will like they get it and they will just be there for you but in the past you might have heard them make jokes about other queer people or laugh about jokes about queer people or about just being queer and in the back of your mind you always have this thought are they gonna laugh about me too will they say they accept me but they don't actually really accept me do they just accept me because like i'm the daughter i'm one of their family members i'm their best friend what do they actually think about me though and the fact that someone can do this small thing like laugh about a joke and it will affect you for the rest of your life and you will always question this person. I think that is something that a lot of queer people will understand and will have experienced. It was like one or two times where this was brought up, but this was such a strong moment to me because I think so many people will really understand that. And it just made me really happy to see a moment like that in a novel. And I think this is something that maybe makes you realize even for other minorities as well, how much these things can affect other people even if you think like it's not a big deal. We also in this book definitely deal with Eric's home life. He is from a wealthy family. It's just one of those cases where you think oh he has to have a great life and everything has to be amazing in his life right because like he's wealthy and he has a big house but we find out that actually that's not the case at all and his father in the beginning you can't really tell as much you just kind of see him being like a little bit of a douche and definitely just being shitty towards Morgan. You just kind of, throughout the novel, see more and more that he is definitely abusive and he is like pressuring his children into stuff. He's not the greatest towards his wife and we really kind of see all of that unravel throughout the novel. So again, really, really tough topics in there but another one that was handled so well and also this really showed the balance again that I was talking about in the beginning really both Eric's dad and also his brother are being kind of bullies and being really shitty towards Morgan in particular later on in the novel his brother kind of comes around and kind of really understands and it's just so great to see like some people they will never change and they are just shitty people and they will forever be bullies and they will forever like just hate on the people that you know are smaller than them but then there's other people who will like come around eventually and who will really understand and who will be ready to apologize for the things that they have said in the past and like 
not that you necessarily have to forgive these people but it was just really great to see that there's like also hopeful stories in those cases where people just really start understanding and where they really genuinely change and again just really really portrays the balance that I love so much about this novel. There's really nothing that I can really criticize about this novel. Again, I think it's beautiful. I think it's wonderful. I think everybody who can handle the topics in it should absolutely pick it up. It's just wonderful. And the structure worked so well for this kind of story as well. I just really, truly loved it. And I highly, 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 highly recommend it. Especially if you love friends to lovers romances, if you love queer books, and yeah, just I, I, I really just can only recommend this book so highly. I loved it. And yeah, let me know if you have already read the book, what you thought of it, if you loved it as much as I did. If you haven't read it yet, if you're excited for its release, let me know if you pre-ordered it because I just, I want people to pre-order it and I want people to love this book so much. And yeah, I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday with occasional reviews on Friday. So click subscribe to never miss anything and hit the little bell so you get notified as well. And thank you so, so much for watching. I guess I'll see you soon. Bye.